A huge tree looks to be half wood, half stone. Oh, that's bizarre. How about this goo? Can you talk about this goo? Narrow stream of viscous, gooey, grimy sludge. He said gooey. I'm down. counting it. I'm counting it. And he also said sludge. How about mushrooms? A huge tree. Can we take the mushrooms? A tree feels like petrified wood, cold to the touch. Hmm. All right. Only John Rice Davies can make the word goo sound sexy. Oh. Well, this is calming. There also seems to be no music here whatsoever. The heavy odor of decay overwhelms your senses and makes you feel slightly nauseated as you survey this gloomy swamp. Hmm. No goo, though. As oh, God. Oh, hello, hands. The decayed remains of a human arm claw at you as if to drag you down to share its doom. Doom. Into the goo. That's uh, probably not a place I want to mess with. And why am I out of sneak mode, sneaky feet? No, 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 no running, no running. Sneakies. Oh, well this is nice. What a nice change of scenery. From the gloomy swamp to a palatial little forested area. Now if I remember correctly, the town should be due north of here because that's exactly what Katrina said. So let's start with that. Eventually. Thankfully, there is a shortage of things that want to kill and maim me. Oh, look at the flowers. Can I have some of the flowers? Gray rocks litter the ground those everywhere. Are, those are flowers. Those are not rocks. Gray rock. Okay, whatever. Can I take some flowers? It doesn't budge. Mm, those unbudging flowers. Always the worst. Mm, this forest kind of sucks. There's no goo anywhere. Did I take a wrong turn somewhere? I could have sworn the town was sooner than this. What a pretty game. Look at all this. And there's a bird chirping. This place doesn't seem very shadowy or dark at all. There it is. Just past the hill, you can see cultivated fields and a walled town. There we go. This will be our new base of operations for whatever in the hell we're doing here. Oh, look. How it's like perpetually autumn here. Some beautiful giant pumpkins are growing in the field. Tall shocks of corn have been harvested, and wait here to be... And, of course, oh, we got our... Can we talk to the scarecrow? You practice your debating techniques, particularly the one about setting up a straw man, with the scarecrow. The value of this is debatable. And someone said that I'm supposed to use fetch on the corn, and that something happens, I guess? Let's try it. You didn't manage to fetch anything. But, corn... I want corn. Can I fetch corn? How about from this one? Since you're far too sophisticated a spellcaster <laughs> to do something mundane like walking over to a corn stalk and picking an ear, you try the fetch spell instead. Unfortunately, fetch doesn't work very well on things that are attached together. It seems you'll have to pick your own corn the boring, old-fashioned way after all. But I'm a magician. I shouldn't have to do things with my hands. You take an ear of the corn and put it away in your pack. I didn't get a big old note for that, but whatever. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 Wait, there's a stump here. Stumps always have stuff. You find five crowns that someone hid in the hollow stump. They're covered with mold and dirt and have obviously been long since forgotten. Interesting. You know what? I actually never knew that was there. Huh? Learn something new every day. Hey, we're already here. We're already rich. But we lost all of our money from the beginning. So 19 crowns, 51 kopecks, uh, which I guess is good. At least we won't need a money changer because we're flat-ass broke. Ooh, this is pretty. Now, you'll recognize this, well you will in a second when I have the John Rice TVs tell you what it is. The curved staff has a very organic look to it. Its curves seem somehow feminine. You can feel a sense of magical power radiating all around it. Beautiful, out-of-season flowers grow all around the stone monument. Now, you remember in every single game, like, she's been touching everything, these little peaceful areas. Like, there's the alleyway in Quest for Glory 1, there's... Two, I don't think she did anything in two. Three, there was the Pool of Peace. 
uh, and the big tree, which I think she was involved in, and then here she also has a garden. Anyway, Irana ca goes around to these different places, and everywhere Irana goes, you remember as being like this altruistic, lovely fairy, and now it is here. This is Irana's, actually, we'll learn very soon, basically her final monument. This is her staff, and we'll learn more about this later. I don't want to ruin it, but for now, we can pick the shit out of our flowers. You pick some flowers and put them away. Seems to me a little sacrilegious, but mm, okay. If it's okay with you, it's okay with me. A bouquet of pretty flowers. Some magic about them seems to be keeping them perpetually fresh. And a nice corn. Okay. Well, uh, can we take the staff? The staff feels warm and almost alive in your hand. You hear an eerie voice in your head. Oh dear. This I must first do. Uh, the sacrifice of life for one of love. Oh, uh, get out of my head. You find yourself letting go of the staff very quickly. Yeah. Okay. I guess that counts as our first quest. Oh, my head. You! Ah! How did you get here? Why are you Your here? Your belly is so bulbous. Few strangers come to Mordavia. I am the Burgomeister. Yeah. It is my job to know everyone and everything that goes on here. I love this guy's voice so much. I want to. He can narrate any book for me. All right. Well, let's do the polite thing. Let's let's introduce ourselves. Who? <gasps> the Burgomeister stares at you suspiciously. Mm hmm. All right. Well, let's uh. Let's talk about ourselves, and since he's the Burgermeister, which I believe is sort of like the Slavic Sheriff, probably don't want to make the thief sign around him. You tell the Burgermeister about how you came here. Well, you see... Uh, Do you expect me to believe... Don't believe? Oh, don't put the fezzles to stun, we can't take any more company. The cave would be open? Tell me no more lies. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see what he has to say. Talk to me, buddy. Jeez, look at this. His belly button has got to be a foot deep. You could keep your car keys in there. Burgomeister? My name is Dmitry Ivanov. I am the Burgomeister of this town. Okay, he's being pretty curt to me. And the fun part about the chat system in this game is that when they're done talking, it's like they'll, their face, I believe, will freeze on whatever frame of animation they were on, so you can get some really cool, funny stills. Mordavia! Mordavia is a welly surrounded by mountains. Welly. Welly. Love it. Now say nuclear whistles. But heavy rains have created a swamp at the base of the mountain south of here. No wagons can get you in or out. Nor can any person. Except perhaps you. Oh my. He can get kind of deep and sultry when he wants to. And looks like it's like looking perpetually down at me. I, I'm a little bit scared. I can't do anything besides... I can't, like, look at him close up or anything. But I want that hat. Can I take his hat? Eh, no. Town! This is the town of Mordavia. There is an inn and a shop down the street where you can spend the night or get some supplies and be on your way. I have a feeling I'm not welcome here. The sooner here. you leave, the better for all. There are many dangers in Mordavia, and we certainly do not need a stranger to stir up new troubles. Hmm. Can I have a burger, Mr. Burgermeister? Uh, let's see. Uh, well, what the heck. In. The Hotel Mordavia has rooms and food. It is safe place to spend the they night. They haven't had that spirit here since 1969. Shop? Uh, the shop does not carry much. We have been cut off from supplies for a while now. Yeah, yeah. Still. Yeah. Dangerous! There are many strange and dangerous creatures that live in Mordavia. Trust nothing. The gates of this town are closed at sunset. Well. Do not let yourself get caught outside after dark, for few can survive. Mordavia nights hmm? like my <laughs> That's the best thing. Let me tell you about Mordavia nights. Mm. Troubles? Just leave Mordavia quickly. No good comes from outsiders, and we do not want you here. Well, fantastic. All right, uh, something else um, I forgot. Bye. All right, well, I'll say goodbye. Bye-bye. Leave here quickly. Go, and soon. 
All right, don't lay it on so thick, you pillowy armed motherfucker. All right, let's save here and let's just, out of curiosity, see what happens if I if I give him the thief sign. Let me see. Hamburglar Meister. Meister. There we go. All right, let's give him the old thief sign. You put your thumb on your nose and wiggle your fingers while rubbing the other hand on your belly. Idiot! <laughs> we need no more fools around here. Go All away! All right, good. Yeah, as the Burgermeister, you think he would actually know what that is. But oh, whatever. Um... All right, let's see what else we have here. Looks like a well-apportioned, cute little town. The sign reads, General Store. You wonder how much of a commission the salespeople get. What? Are you thinking about settling down? The sign simply reads, In. I guess that means you should go in. I want to go goo. And in through the General Door's sphincter. Let's see who's in charge of this. Oh, God, she's huge. This general store is cheery and well lit, thanks to the warm hearth. The first things that you notice are the cats. They seem to be everywhere. Then you see the shopkeeper sitting on her rocking chair as she knits. She's a very, well, uh, sturdy looking woman. Uh, yeah. It's like, oh, God, it's gravity at work. Stranger in town. <laughs> I've heard all about you already. What are you talking? I literally just got into town, you gossiping wench. How could you. Oh, uh, kitty. Kitty. Careful. The cats may explode if you touch them. <laughs> They're perfectly content where they are. Well, exploding cat? Really? Is this Quest for Glory lore? Careful. Can I talk to them? Maybe we're all by animal Ken? You attempt to have a meaningful dialogue with the cat. It says... Meow. <laughs> <laughs> totally worth it just to hear John Rice Davies go... Meow. Meow. Do it again, do it again, do it again. meaningful dialogue with the cat. It says, meow. meow. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Ooh. Either garlic is one of the most popular products here, or the shopkeeper ordered way too much and hasn't been able to get rid of it. I do love me some garlic. Just the little touches in this game make me so happy. It's, uh, I, I just want to live in a town like this. This huge, gigantic hearth, got strands of garlic all over the place, and what look like clocks? The shopkeeper does a good business in clocks. Apparently, the villagers like to be able to tell when night is approaching. I never noticed that before. Just that an entire shelf full of clocks. It looks like an ancient temple that the shopkeeper has put up on the mantle as a good luck symbol. Mm, all right. And also, the cats are not moving, so I'm guessing they're load-bearing cats. Let's go say hello. Uh, hello, shopkeep! They're polite, aren't you? And manners are as manners do, as my husband used to say. We'll see. All right. Um. Hello. Well, my name is Sneaky Foo, and I've been places. And, and, oh. <laughs> you can call me Olga. Mrs. Stovich is uh, too formal. Look at those needles fly. They don't welcome strangers here. They bring nothing but trouble. All the same, it's good to see a new face again. I would like to see a new face right now. That is not yours. Uh, let's make, let's give her the thief sign. Maybe she's uh, maybe she's on our side. The shopkeeper looks concerned when you make the thief sign. I am sorry, but I don't have any medication for epileptics. Maybe oh, Dr. No. Cranium could help Oh, you. Dr. Cranium is here. I almost forgot about him. Oh, I love him so. Well, let's buy some equipment, but first of all, let's uh, let's get to know her a little bit. Maybe she'll give us a discount if we're nice to her. Mm, what you got? Mm. Um, let me see. What could you use? Well, besides my regular items like brooms and pens, I uh, really don't have anything else for adventurers like yourself. Now, I do have some lovely sandwiches you can use for rations. And garlic. Of course you need garlic. I've also got some oil you can use to keep the weapons and armor from rusting. All right, that's handy. And if you like sweets, I've got some yummy homemade candy. Although the garlic flavored ones have all been purchased by now. <laughs> I'll have to uh, make some more. Uh, oh, and the shopping bag to carry things in. I have a couple of those left. Wait, don't you give the shopping bag away for free? That's awful. You make people pay for the bag? What kind of awful future New York rule is this? So I can ask her about everything that she sells, and I really don't care. She seems very proud about her garlic-flavored candy. Uh, garlic, trail rations. You know what? 
I'm thinking I want to ask her about the garlic just because this seems kind of a vampire-y kind of town since we are sort of in the Transylvania Slavic area. Oh, now garlic is a must-have item. It's just 25 kopecks for a bulb, and it will add flavor to any food. Oh, okay, I was afraid she wasn't going to go into detail, but here comes. You know, some say garlic also has medicinal and protective properties. Her mouth is huge. <laughs> she's like half asleep now, just like, eh, buy what you want, get out. Um, okay, I think we're good on all this stuff. I don't really want to go into detail about the candy that she sells. Uh, now this seems like the person to ask about rumors. Yeah, she's got it in spades. Let's talk. Innkeeper's wife? Yeah, Bella's a good Ooh. woman. She's the one who really runs the inn. Nice for, is she talking with her knitting needles? Someday she'll give Yuri a piece of her mind and good for her! <laughs> the thing she puts up with. Bella. She was a pretty woman not long ago. Was not called Bella for nothing. Losing her only child really aged her. What a tragedy. Interesting. Okay, well I haven't exactly met the innkeeper nor knew that she had a wife, but I knew how to ask about it. And apparently, because this is Transylvania, there must be... Castle? The castle north of town was abandoned for many years. Then, some strangers moved in four years ago. No one knows what goes on there now. But it won't be for the good, I'll tell you. She seems to be a bit... Oh, and I lost her. She fell asleep. Good night, sweet Oga. And a million little angels with garlic breath sing thee to thy rest. I'm gonna wake her up. Oga, Oga. Werewolves! Well, there, see, I, I woke her up. No question about it. They change into wolves at night, eating anyone they can get. Nothing can kill a werewolf but silver or magic. So you be careful out in the woods at night, you hear me? The gypsy camp is not at all that far from here. Are the gypsies evil too? Or the gypsies werewolves? I don't know. And apparently somewhere in town there is also a monastery! <sighs> that is a bad place, and you'd better have nothing to do with it. It is dangerous and should have been torn down long ago. Many a stranger never came back after asking questions about it, so don't let your curiosity be the death of you. The voice acting in this game is just so good. I love it. I, I can't get enough of it. Give me more. Uh, except, no, I really don't want more. Um, oh, I could ask her about the the shop. The shop! Thompson shop! No, no, no more rumors. No more rumors. I've heard all the rumors I can tell. Yeah, my husband and myself had run this shop for many, many years. My husband uh, passed on now, but I keep it just the way he liked it. A well-run shop is a busy shop, he always used to say. Not very busy anymore, what with the swamp. But I try to keep it going the best I can. Mostly housewares, but a few items that uh, might interest you. Okay, well, I think we have finally exhausted everything this lady has to say, so now we can finally get down to a business and... Oh, we can just buy it right from here. Fantastic. Okay, let's see. So, I think we have enough money for just about everything. We have no rations left over, and we can buy everything from garlic and candy to oil flasks. Now, we are thieves, so oil flasks are going to be very handy. Um, I guess that just worked? Too bad the barter system is gone. Let's get some candy. You know what, some of that. Garlic, yeah, we're gonna need some of that. You know what, we're just gonna buy everything because we probably don't need it at this point, but it'll save us from coming back. Let's buy a shopping bag and some trail rations. There we go, we still got plenty of money left over. Uh, let's see, buy button, decide down now, yada yada yada, fantastic, okay. Good system, thanks. Um, all right, let's do the polite thing. Bye-bye! You be careful! We don't need you going around- Oh, not you too. Trouble after all. Got enough as it is. If you do find something interesting, you let me know, of course, won't you? Mm. And thus I perpetuate the rumor mill. Lovely. Alright, out we go. Uh, out we go? Out we go? How about this way? Is this the way out? That's the way out. Goodbye. Or, as my dear departed Boris used to say, may the winds blow fair at your back. You know what? I actually still say that. To this day, I tell, I say maybe the winds blow fair at your back, and people look at me like I'm an idiot, which is probably, uh, probably warranted. Let's go check out the inn. 
Oh. We've entered a small but nicely furnished country inn. Stairs lead up to the guest bedrooms. The floor is covered with sawdust and peanut shells. A barrel contains the few shells that manage to land in it. The innkeeper stares at you with an expression of fear and astonishment. It's that sneaky feet guy! Seconds before he speaks. Otherwise he stammers. This is the Hotel Mordavi. It's a lovely place. Fifteen kopecks for room and board. Joyful, stinky people! I like stinky people. Have you seen my honor? Your honor? I don't know. Ask for keys. Rumors! It says... Meow. <laughs>